most of the grid developers um, are actually anonymous, right? But you guys are here on the show using your clear names. You also go to conferences with your clear names. Um, what what uh, made you decide to go public with your identities? Well, well actually, I, I probably wouldn't say most are anonymous now. I think there's only two, really, who have chosen to remain completely anonymous. And that's Ignosis, the founder, which I'm sure we'll talk about him more later. And then uh, we have another developer, Antioch Peveril, which in Harry Potter lore is his brother, who, who also chooses to remain anonymous. But the rest of us are fairly fairly out and in the open. I mean, from my, my own perspective, uh, I probably just didn't know any better when I first got involved with the project. So that's why I'm out in the open. But also because I'm taking funding from various sources, I feel it's a bit, it's it's better to be out there so people know who they're dealing with. And, and you know, I can be out there on, on podcasts and, and promote Grin uh, without having to worry about that, anon- uh, that uh, invisibility cloak. <laughs> yeah, it's similar from my side. I mean, I... I, I was aware there were anonymous developers uh, on the project, but the, I, I just kind of did like a trade-off in the sense that, you know, in order to be really anonymous, uh, you have to put in a lot of effort to do that. And uh, I, I just didn't really see that, you know, either you do it, you know, the full way uh, or, or you don't do it at all. There's no point in it because if somebody needs to, or wants to, is motivated enough to find your identity, they will. Uh, and and I just didn't really see, my, see a need for it. I think a lot of the reason why we might feel comfortable uh, being out in, in with clear names is also because uh, the founder, Ignatius, is anonymous. Uh, it might have been a bit different if it wasn't for that.